these real little ones have bad teeth. And see, a lot of these are gone already on this side. Oh. See, she doesn't have any teeth on that side. That's I see. And she's got a little soft spot here, too, you know, like babies get. Mm -hmm. yeah. See, that's called an open fontanelle. Mm -hmm. And I think you have more of an apple head, she already called these. Oh. Mm -hmm. yeah. And what are you looking for to get her? I mean, what is your aim? You know, I mean. I would like to, you know, work again. Yeah. You're asking a lot. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm not a neurologist, yeah. but I think you may have a couple of things. You know, and just that she's moving around like this, I don't think she's in pain. Right. Per se, you know, because you can move the neck. She's just, I think she's neurologically and may even have, you know, right in here where they took the x rays. So now, the aim is how do you help her, you know? Right. And whether she's going to walk normally, I. No. So what what's this with the the C two C three? What is? What she has it? some narrowing there. Okay. Some narrowing there, you know, because that's when people sometimes bend over, you know, mm -hmm. they bend up. Oh my back here yeah, yeah, hurts, yeah, yeah. and then they rupture a disc. Right. So that's what they're leaning towards. Okay. Right. And see the higher, if it's down here, then it only affects here. Right. If it's up here, yeah. it affects the whole body. See? Right. You know, and the steroid, the aim of the steroid was to take down pain, swelling, and inflammation, and right. the gabapentin was for pain. Mm -hmm. See, but you have these uncontrollable movements almost, and this is a slippery part. Right. Oh, but we, yeah, we took yeah. her out of, I mean, yeah, she can't stand, she falls over, 